Today I'm going to talk about a version of vitamin B12 that I would recommend avoiding. It's called cyanocobolamine. Now, cobolamine is a molecule with cobalt. It's kind of a foundational structure of B12. And then there's different versions of B12. Cyanocobolamine is the synthetic version. It's very, very cheap. It's in pretty much all the fortified grains like cereals, snack bars. It's in most um, one-a-day synthetic vitamins. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also fortified in infant formulas and things like that. And it's definitely in energy drinks as well. And sometimes it has very high doses, sometimes between 8,000 to 14,000 percent are requirements. And the problem that I don't like about it is the cyanide part of it. There's a cyanide molecule attached to this cobolamine that a lot of times people will brush off as being, well, it's, it's insignificant, it's a small amount, our liver can detoxify it fine. But what about if someone's doing these energy drinks, taking vitamins, doing a lot of refined grains, getting massive, massive amounts of this cyanocobolamine? Cyanide shuts down the oxygen to your mitochondria. So it destroys the motor of the mitochondria. In fact, this is interesting. When you get cyanide poisoning or even carbon monoxide poisoning and you go to the emergency room, they have to give you a remedy to counter that. And that happens to be something I've been talking about in some recent videos called methylene blue. Methylene blue is the antidote to cyanide because it bypasses the, the mitochondrial damage and it gives mitochondria the oxygen it needs. And a lot of the B12 injections, they're using this synthetic version as well. And so there is some side effects like vomiting, stomach problems, uh, a potassium deficiency, which can lead to uh, arrhythmias, headache, fever, dizziness, etc. But personally, I think the biggest problem with this cyanocobolamine is the cyanide part. You just don't need a lot of cyanide in the body. But it is true that our liver does have the ability to detoxify small amounts of cyanide. But what I'm talking about is larger amounts, okay? And now, if we compound that on what I am finding on quite a few DNA tests is the inability to fully detoxify. In other words, there are a lot of people that have mutations or problems with their detoxification genes. So if that's a problem and you're taking a lot of the cyanide, you might have a difficult time getting rid of it. Now, on top of that, there's also a very common genetic problem relating to methylation, which is basically adding something to a chemical compound in your body to help you detoxify, to help things work better, to help you become healthier. And so you possibly have heard of this genetic problem. It's called MTHFR. I mean, it sounds like a swear word, but it's not. But if you have a mutation with this gene, you're going to have a hard time with methylation which means that if you take the wrong B12, okay, the form of B12, you're going to have even worse problems. The type of B12 that you need, if you have that genetic problem, the more you're going to need a natural form of B12. And the one I'm talking about is methylcobolamine. And just as a side note, I would always take that with methylfolate as well, because if you're also taking synthetic folate, which is also in the en enriched grain products, uh, you can have more of a problem. But methylcobolamine is the one I would recommend because it's going to help you if you have these genetic issues. And methylcobolamine is an active form of B12. It stays in the body a lot longer than the synthetic versions. It can really greatly improve your sleep. It can decrease the need for sleep. It can help you wake up feeling alert and refreshed. It can prevent the person who just doesn't get tired at night that just lays there until two or three in the morning. It's great for the nervous system, especially your myelin sheath, because if you're deficient, uh, you're going to have problems with numbness, tingling, paresthesia, and a lot of other degeneration issues of the nervous system. This methylcobolamine is also really good for visual accommodation, so your ability to see things without needing glasses, okay? So many times people will start taking methylcobolamine and noticing that their vision is better. Methylcobolamine also can help you increase melatonin. That's probably why it helps your sleep. It also decreases something called homocysteine, which can put you at risk for heart attacks or a stroke. It even can help regulate cortisol, that stress hormone. It's also important to mention that a lot of people are deficient in B12 for other reasons, not because they're not consuming even the right form of B12 or foods high in B12, like liver or red meat or eggs, things like that, but they might have inflammation in the stomach. 
Also, they might have H. pylori uh, active, or they might have low hydrochloric acid, or they might have gastric bypass, or even inflammation in the intestines, especially the lower last part of the small intestine, which is where you absorb B12. So if there's inflammation there, let's say they have IBS or Crohn's or diverticulitis or whatever, and then they're going to need to take more of B12 in the right form. B12 is very, very important for your red blood cells. And so if you're low in B12, you can be anemic. And when we're taking the wrong type of B12, like the cyanocobolamine, which actually has a direct effect on oxygen to your red blood cells, it doesn't make sense. You don't need to add more cyanide to your diet. There's other forms of B12, like hydroxycobolamine, but that has to be converted. And also another one called adenosylcobolamine, which is the active form. Okay, so it is active and it's not bad to take, but it, it doesn't have the methyl connected to it that we need in so many genetic problems. Anyway, I wanted to bring up the importance of taking the right form of B12 and avoiding the wrong type of B12. And hopefully you're not one of those people who are do a lot of these energy drinks or grains. But if you are, you should probably know what diet to be on. And for that information, you should check this video out right here.